Hey YouTube, this next diecast review will be on Simon Pagano's 2021 Menard Chevrolet in the 164 scale for Greenlight Collectibles and for Team Penske. This is a great looking diecast. I picked up from my buddies over at GP Diecast. I will link them below in the description in the video and you will be able to look buy this car yourself. Um, not much change though with this car compared to the years previous, but for some reason Simon Pagano videos always seem to get well viewership. You know, granted, he's an Indy 500 champion now. I mean, could have been a two-time Indy 500 champion if he would have gotten maybe five more laps in the race. But, you know, that but that would have been uh, catastrophic for Elio. That, what, a, what, a, what, a, what a conflict of interest that would have been for me. My all-time favorite driver versus my current favorite Indy car driver. Who would I want to win that one? Well, clear as day, I was rooting for Elio. But any other day... Simon Pagano is my guy. And Simon is an incredible human being to me. When I met him in mid-Ohio this past weekend, he was like, man, I was wondering where you were all weekend. I was like, where is he? Uh, and you finally showed up. I'm like, yeah, let's just say I couldn't get off work Friday. I'm like, that's what happened. And uh, here we go. We're here today reviewing the diecast. The diecast, of course, came in on the day I was leaving, so I could not get my own personal one signed by him. Unfortunate, but what you going to do with that one? Anyways, the packaging is uh, day glow yellow, where every, where the paint scheme is, uh, paint scheme, excuse me, livery is supposed to be uh, specified. And it, where, of course, where everywhere is not gray or white, it is definitely yellow on the on the packaging here. Got the French flag 22 Simon Pagano NTT IndyCar series. Now, on the back here, you can pause at any time. Look at the card here. All the packaging stuff back here and all the good stuff. Yep, there's not really much to the, to the box this year. Uh, it's pretty bad where I just go over the box one, two, three, and just get, get straight to the point here and go straight to the die cast. Alrighty, now that the car's out of its box, we're gonna go over the card here. You can pause at any time and look at over this card, but of course, Every single Indy card diecast made comes with one of these cards. You can pause at any time to take a look at this, but of course they're going to mention Simon Pagano's famous Indy 500 win, and rightfully so. But what you care about really is the car itself right here, and of course nothing much has changed at all, minus maybe a few uh, decal changes, like Verizon used to be on the engine cover, but now they're on the front wing. Not much to specify a change enough to get to... The newest die cats, unless if you are a Simon Pagano fan like myself, who passionately cheers for him, except for when Elio's racing. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, you got this die cast here. Not really much has changed here. Uh, there's a couple of things I like to critique about, and one of them is this with the arrow screen. I know that um, they had they had some issues with the arrow screen. And one of them is not getting the paint right that matches with the paint on the actual car. I know that the, the aero screen is molded onto the chassis. We know that. But it seems like they had struggled here with getting the decaling right when it comes to getting it on the aero screen. Because you got a real nice day glow yellow here. And it almost looks kind of pale here on the aero screen. Like it doesn't really match and blend in well it like kind of just looks like almost like it sticks out almost and you got and of course they have, they have some issues decaling the actual aero screen which don't get me wrong you're doing this by hand you know it, it gets a little hard i will cut them some slack when it comes to getting the decals around the aero screen because you see right here let's put let's get a little better focus there you see where it says pagino here I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if the camera's doing it, doing it right here. Let's see if we get out of the light here. Uh, I'm trying to get better light here for you. But there's three separate decals. There's one decal here. There's one decal here. And there's another decal here. Kind of, kind of see the transition here. You can kind of see it here a little bit. That's my critique here with this car is that the air screen does not look too terribly good with this particular car but that if that's my only complaint i think you did a pretty good job overall with the die cast that's that's my ruling there let's see here let's go over some sponsors here got verizon got delara 
got Shell, Pennzoil, Discount Tire, uh, Chevrolet, you got uh, Entity IndyCar Series, you got number 22, you got the Menards logo, and you got the Firestone logos, you got Pagano's name on the aero screen, you got Shell V Power Nitro Plus, you got uh, Entity IndyCar Series, you got, you got the Chevrolet logo, you got Menards, you got Hitachi on the front wing plate here. And you got the Chevrolet logo, you got P1 NTT Firestone, you got PPG Snap-on, Penske Truck Rental on the dorsal fin, you got uh, Speedway here right by the fuel cell, you got the Firestone tires here, and back here you got all the good stuff here, but you don't really have too much detail as compared to what the 118 has, but one thing I'm very impressed with here is that the 164 does have the signature Penske chrome suspension. It is not a Penske car without a chrome suspension and I think they 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 uh, I'm glad they put it on there because it's not a Penske car without one and you you don't well screwed up if you don't put the chrome suspension on a Penske car but um, yes this this also this uh, gearbox not gearbox excuse me this rear taillight has the Penske logo which on the Will Power car it did not have it on, on there fortunately so I'm glad that they actually put on the Pagano car but I'm hoping that the 164 power car does have it on there because that is accurate. And what's also accurate too is that there's no numbers on the rear wings. Most teams did away with them at the Indy 500 this year and of course the Texas Motor Speedway. So the die casts, for here at least, are accurate. I think Andretti Autosport did not get rid of the numbers on the cars in the uh, Texas race or the, I think the Indy 500 they did. I didn't look at my pictures. They probably did. But the, but the die cast certainly had the numbers on them. That is not accurate as of now to court in most cars. It might be accurate to theirs. But here we go. The livery is the signature Penske livery. It has not changed since 2016. The only thing that's changed is the arrow kits. It is a nice day glow yellow with red and black stripes. That's your main livery right there. That is, has been the same. It has not touched at all. And I hope to God it does not touch, touch at all. This die cast is incredible. And for the Simon Pagano fanatics there at home, you know, you don't want to miss out on it. You know, because you want to get one, you want to have that collection where you get them, have them all on the line and they all look fabulous. But for the average person, this is definitely one to skip on. This is one to pass up on. Because we got some really cool stuff coming up here in the next coming weeks here. This is production number 1536. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I um, really hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. This is Race H1 Never Mind. You do want to fight to stop bullying. It does get better. Die Kiss Kid is always happy to see you.